Hey guys, welcome back. Buzzy Beer, welcome back to the channel, guys. Alright, so how many how many times have you guys seen this transition over here? Probably a lot of times in a lot of videos, right? That's what we call a freeze frame transition. So I wanna show you guys exactly how to do that in Adobe Premiere as well as DaVinci Resolve. Alright, so I hope you guys are ready. Let's go, man. Alright, so yeah, I've selected a clip. And I'm only gonna focus on two scenes, guys, because basically what we wanna do is we wanna create a transition from this scene into this scene, right? All right, so the first thing I wanna do is that I'm gonna unlink these two clips. All right, so I'm gonna right click on it and select unlink, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna make a cut exactly where these two clips transitions, right? So let me just go back. All right, so I want to make a cut over there. Select my razor tool and make a cut over there. But now what you want to do now is we want to only select one frame of that footage, right? So I'm going to move to the right with my arrow keys, one frame, and I'm going to make another cut. Okay, so now we're going to, uh, we're going to duplicate this clip and then put one on top so I'm gonna select my alt and my mouse and drag it up so now we have two clips over there all right but now both of them are moving and we don't want any movement so you go to the beginning of that clip click on it right click and then you're gonna add an add frame hold to the top clip okay so what it does basically is it keeps that clip dead still so there will be no movement in the clip whatsoever okay then I would go I would say about eight frames to the left let me just check eight frames one two three four five six seven eight and then I'm gonna drag this clip extend it basically all right, so now we have, and now as you can see, if I scroll on it, absolutely no movement in that clip whatsoever. Okay. All right, but now these are both the same clips, so I want to cut him out. So I'm gonna mask him out of this whole clip. All right. So I'm going back to the beginning of this clip. Make sure my clip is selected. Then I'm going to go to my opacity and I'm going to select my tool over there. And then I'm, I think I should just enlarge the screen a little bit more. So we make going to ensure that we, if we do the cut out or the masking that it's proper. Okay. so. I'm going to select my tool over there again and now I'm just going to mask him out. So this can be time consuming. So I'm just going to skip to the point where I've, I've completed the, the masking. All right. And boom. Okay, so so now we've mastered it out. I'm just gonna double check everything looks proper. I think we've done a good job. Right. All right. So now we just wanna feather it out a little bit. I would. Oh, you know what? I would leave it at ten. So leave it at ten. And then I'm just gonna fit. All right. So that's our mask over there all right so that's our mask over there right now as you can see i've accidentally selected two masks right now but but we've done this on mask number two so i'm just gonna go ahead and delete the top one all right so I, I want i want you to see exactly what's going to happen if i do that but i mean you're obviously in your case if you only if you only worked on one mask then it'll automatically do what i'm gonna show you now so i'm just gonna cut that one and now you can see that 
you know he is now in the previous scene you understand so i'm just gonna make a you know small adjustment here because i can see you know you don't want that uh, so i'm just gonna click on my mask over there and then what i'm gonna do is maybe just gonna let me just enlarge this quickly and then bring it down and i'm just gonna drag this out a little bit like so cool click fit again and now we can see that he is now actually in the previous frame oh see sorry <laughs> so if i play it back you'll see exactly what it does guys um, you see that do you see that effect play again Oof. he comes in it's like a preview of the next scene and then it just continues So that's how you do it in Adobe Premiere, but I mean, there's obviously a lot of ways you can play around with that particular um, transition, right? Or, if, I mean, obviously, if you select a clip, you can you can add on effects, whatever effect you want to put on that clip. You can maybe scale the beginning of it up, and then maybe at the end, it'll scale down to the normal size. So you guys can play around with it. You guys can, can go crazy with it, man. So I'm just giving you the basic on how to do it, but that's, in a nutshell, how you do it all right and that looks super awesome let's just enlarge it a bit so you guys can really see the effect in full effect and as i play boom go back boom all right so that's how you do it in adobe premiere guys like i said play around with it it's very easy and it's very interesting it's quite nice it's a very it's very super nice effect i mean you can even if you want to you can maybe clone clone him and you know put this like on different spots in the scene i mean that's totally up to you so play around with it guys now we're gonna head over to davinci resolve and i'm gonna show you guys exactly how it's done in davinci resolve all right all right so now we're in davinci resolve and as you can see i'm using the exact same clip all right if i play through you can see there's no transition over there it's just a normal cut and go to the next scene right all right so now we're gonna have to go to our we are already in our edit page but i mean i'm just gonna switch windows quickly or displays you guys can see exactly what i'm doing all right so here we go so this is our clip over here right so obviously what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna you know just select the scene where The next scene comes in and I'm going to make a cut over there. Let's just expand this quickly. And then, you know, exactly the same as I've done in Adobe Premiere. I'm going to go one frame, select one frame. So I'm going to go, you know, only one forward. And I'm going to cut. And then I'm just going to, let me just unlink these two clips, right? Click on it and then I'm gonna copy it and drag it on top. I'm gonna go to the beginning of the clip, same as what, I've, what we've done in Adobe Premiere, beginning of the clip. Make sure that clip is selected. Right click on it and now what you do is you go to your change clip speed, right? And then over here you'll see these options over here and then you select freeze frame. Freeze frame is exactly the same as add frame hold. So I'm just going to select that and I'm going to click change. So, and then I'm going to also then go back eight frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm just going to drag this then out to that point. All right, so now I'll show you exactly now. Let me just do this for you guys. And if I play it, then you'll see that that frame is frozen, right? So there's this, very short, and then it moves. All right, let's go out. Okay, 
so now this frame is then frozen no movement in it okay but now obviously we're gonna have to cut him out as well so I'm just gonna show you we're gonna have to cut him out as well out of this scene right now what you do is you go to your color page I'm just gonna select and I go to my color page and then here we are in the color page right first thing that I want to do is I want to add an alpha output so I'm just gonna right click here um, and then add alpha output and I'm just gonna link these two boom right and then now what I want to do is I want to go this is the window that you want to select right you select your window make sure your clip is highlighted over there select your window and then I'm gonna select this tool over here right so now I'm just gonna cut out but now this window is a bit short uh, small sorry this window is a bit small I just want to enlarge it so I'm gonna click shift and F go to a full screen over there and now I'm gonna just start masking him out and as you can see it goes uh, you know so much faster in the venture as well man all right but i'm just gonna obviously fast forward to where it's done all right and boom now you can see that's masked out okay i'm just gonna make some minor adjustments over here Drag this out a little bit. Bring it in, drag it out a little bit. And just double check if everything is, you know, looks proper. Bring it in a little bit over there. Um, I would say that looks good. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit over there. So now you can make, you know, some minor adjustments to your mask. Alright. I'm just gonna go out here out of my full screen shift F again okay so now I'll go back to my to my edit page and then we can just check if it's fine and that looks pretty cool right so I think we can work with that all right so now obviously if I play it back if I play it now you guys can see exactly does the same effect as it did in Adobe Premiere. Super nice. All right, so there you have it, guys. Let's say do the freeze frame transition in DaVinci Resolve as well as Adobe Premiere. So I hope you guys, you know, had fun um, le learning this, and I hope you guys will, you know explore you know take a couple of footage and you know play around with it whether you download something from the internet it doesn't really matter i'm just making a person send sure that if it is that you um do use in a video um just be very careful that you know use a, a, a short clip like i've done with the aka um scene just a very short clip so you don't have any copyright issues all right so i really hope you guys enjoyed this man and learned something from it once again, guys, like I said, you can play around with it and, you know, go crazy with the effect. Put effects on, you know, your that clip. Uh, play around with it, you know. Make it your own. Um, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I hope if you haven't subscribed, guys, please do so. And please give us a thumbs up and please select that notification bell to receive updates on upcoming videos. All right. On that note, guys, I'll, I'll see you guys next week, Wednesday, man. Thank you so much once again. I'm out. Peace.